Hiya, Wendy here from Lolly Dolly Crafts. Um, I'm just here to show you um, and finish off a project that I started yesterday. Um, I, oh, sorry, I just kicked my tripod. Um, um, I didn't finish it. Um, I've been wanting to make one of these for ages and to be honest I know I, I've made it a little, not wrong, but I should have made, what, what it is, is um, envelopes and I've just got a load of envelopes. Um, like these, not this is this is the outside cover, but just to sort of basically give you an idea. Um, you get an envelope, you put a piece of uh, cardboard inside it, cut it up, and then you basically just make lots of layers of these. Um, I don't think my layers, I've used one, two, three, four, five layers. I think I should have used more and made it bigger. But never mind, it's the first one I made and I couldn't find anywhere on the internet that had um, instructions on how to do it, although I'd seen um, um, a creation um, by a lady called uh, I Love. She does, um, if you look, oh, let me just have a look on my iPad. She does lots and lots and lots of um, absolutely amazing. Um, uh, oh, here it is. Amazing, absolutely amazing, um, shabby chic. Um, I know. I tell you who it's. Um, Juliana, that's who it is, and um, she does. Oh, I mean, her shabby chic stuff is absolutely amazing. And I did see um, a finished, but no sort of like instructions of um, how to make it. Um, and her blog is called uh, I Love Vintage Scrap. And she has a YouTube channel as well that's the same. Um, it's the same on there. And I saw the project on YouTube, um, but I couldn't find any instructions. Oh, I mean, you should need you need to take a look at a, ch a channel. It's absolutely amazing. Um, and I I could because I've not been very well. I've been sitting in, in bed because um, I can't stand up. So just if I move my head, it might, I feel like I'm gonna. I'm on. I've just come off a roller coaster. Oh God, I've lost my internet now. But anyway. Um, one of the uh, projects on there, it was, uh, it was, um, I can't remember what it's called. I'll find it anyway. But it, it was, it was, what it was like one of these, um, and it was gorgeous. Sorry, that's my, that's my phone telling me I need to take my tablets. But anyway, hey ho, I'll do them in a minute. Um, and I'd seen it a couple of weeks ago, and um, and then I couldn't remember where I'd seen it, and I couldn't find it to go back and see how deep and sort of like how she'd sort of like done it um so it, I guessed basically and then I today I refound um the uh the, the um the project that she made and hers I think she I mean I like I said I've used one two three four five I've uh, five and I think she used about eight and hers was a bit bigger but anyway there you go but I've cut the middle out okay and I haven't decorated the inside or anything yet and then um um, I wasn't quite sure, to be honest, what to do with it next, because um, what obviously what I wanted it to be is like to have like um, a fold, a closure on it, but I wasn't sure how to do it. Um, and I searched and searched and searched on YouTube of like any sort of instructions, and I just couldn't find any anyway. So, um, uh, so basically, I um, in the end I sort of played around and I came up with this. Um, which is basically a sheet of um, uh, cardboard, which is basically, I don't know um, what the measurements of it is because I did it by eye. And my 16 year old bor borrowed my metal ruler and didn't give it back and now can't find it. So I'm gonna have to get another one. Bless his cotton socks. So I had to do it, I, did, can't, I can't give you the measurements on it. I'm really sorry. Um, I, when I put it on my blog, I'll, um, take a measurement of it I find a tape and take a measurement so anyway what I did was I um, I'm um, put a piece of um, um, board on the back here and measured well basically that sort of you know what I wanted but I didn't it was wasn't a very nice piece of cardboard so I thought what shall I do so I found two more envelopes although they were they weren't white ones they were brown and I slid them and cut the flaps off and slid them on Believe me, this has been such a um, you know a hit and miss project for me because um, 
I hadn't a clue what I was doing. So I did that um, and it to make a cover. And I, I, I love it. I think it's an absolute... I'm so, so pleased. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to continue with this project um, and finishing it off, um, decorating it. Um, I've got lots and lots of bits and bobs to do. And I'm going to put some papers on here and then a doily on the back. Um, I got a kit a Teresa Collins kit um, and her pa and this is the papers that I'm going to use on this project and her papers are absolutely gorgeous so what I've done is I've cut them all to size I've distressed all the edges and there's no point me showing you um, how to do that because I'm you all you most of you guys know how to do distress edges and so if you have any questions if anybody's a beginner please 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 just give me a shout and I'm more than happy um, but if you watch some of my other videos, there's, there's some on there that are about distressing. Um, shows you I use a machine anyway, I cheat. Sorry, I've just excuse my voice. I get got a really sore throat as well. Um, so these are the, I, these are the um, papers I'm going to use. So on the front, I'm going to put this one. I'm going to put that one there. I think everyone's been poorly at the moment. I think Heather from Ideas to Come, she's been poorly. We've got a really, really bad, um, lots and lots of cases of Noro, which is like a vomit and diarrhea um, virus going around at the moment. There's, I'm pleased to touch wood, I haven't. It's a cold and that that I've, I've ended up with. Where's my glue? Right, so I had to go into my craft shed because the glue I had in my house had run out. I, 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 I was meaning to be ending up back in my craft shed this week, but um, because of I'm not being very well, I haven't been able to move all my stuff from my bedroom back into my craft room after the extension was done. I'm dying to get in there and I'll do a little video tour, um, my YouTube video tour of it and show you. Um, it's nowhere near as nice as uh, like some people I've seen, but I do love it, and I I'm, I love my other half for um, for doing it for me. Anyway, enough. I'm wobbling on. So what I'm going to do this is the front page. So I'm going to stick this onto the front. Help if I stuck it the right way, wouldn't it? Oh dear, dear me. My other half brought me up something to eat today and I just oh, I couldn't face it and I nearly cried because I said to him, I'm sorry I can't eat it. <laughs> and he's going to me, you need to eat something. I cry and I say, no, but I can't. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I'm such a wimp. Bless. In the end I, I settled for um, soup. <laughs> when in doubt, when you're ill, have soup. So I had some soup with some dry bread. And actually, to be honest, I did feel a little bit better after that. Uh, I'm going to stick this on here. Oh, and just to let you know as well, I've just recently um, subscribed to... Um, there's only... Well, at the moment... Well, that's not true. Um, before yesterday, I only knew one male... And I'm not saying there isn't more out there. Um, craft is out there. That's the gentleman crafter who's an absolutely amazing, amazing. Uh, he's an artist. He's um, Jim's. Um, he does lovely, lovely work. And um, and then yesterday I found um, just by pure chance I don't even know how another guy called um, R J um, who lives in I think and I could be wrong so don't quote me California. Um, and I've just started. F Ooh, that's a bit wonky. Started following his YouTube channel, so go along and um, um, check it out. This it's called the. Um, is it? The, I think it's the Crafty Mail or something. I'll, again, I'll check that and put the link down the bottom. Um, and he's he's um, well. He says he's not like he's he not makes cards and stuff, and not as an experienced crafter about a year. But I mean, you know, I don't. I think it's all about learning, isn't it? I mean, you know, even I've been crafting for a couple of years, but I'm still learning. <laughs> I, you know, new techniques and different things. And okay, so this is going to be the back page. I'm going to, and I'm going to use this side. So I want that that way, don't I? So I'm gonna. Yeah. So I'm really pleased, and he did make me giggle. 
Um, because I watched one of his, um, he got a swap from somebody yesterday. And I've watched lots and lots, and it's no offence to any ladies, I, I love watching them, and I've lo watched lots and lots of swaps where people are opening and they get really, really excited. But, oh, I did think, oh, bless. When I watched him opening his um, um, swap packages, it was like a little kid in a candy shop. It was just like, I don't know, I think it was must have been my maternal instinct coming out, poor thing. Um, oh, glue. Yeah, but it did make me giggle. So, uh, yeah, watching them opening all the parcels. They were all wrapped up in, in um, Christmas paper, the swap. Right, so that's the back and the front, like that. Okay. Um, and what I'm going to, what I want to do is I am going to put this... Oh, isn't it lovely? Don't you just love... I love it, and I, I, I want to use it, and then I think, oh... Do I want to use it? I'm sitting here stroking it to my face now. But it just fits lovely and I just think, oh, do I? Should I? But yes, it's the whole, the whole point of having it. So anyway, so I'm going to put this. I need to also make sure that when I put it on that I can still... Um, yeah, so I'm going to stick some glue. I need, I, do you know what? This glue gun I haven't had for long. I've only had it for a couple of weeks. Well, no, a couple of months, I would say. But it, I don't know what it, I don't know whether it's the glue sticks or something. But I'm having a lot of trouble with it. It's really not. I've got a big one. I might even get that one back out and uh, and use this one because this is like it's a bit heavy, heavy going. Trying to add. There we go. down here as well I've just ordered um, I love tr this is um, the Teresa Collins um, vintage collection and um, I only, uh, the kit I got only had like one sheet of um, sort of everything in it double sided it, it's like it, but it's it's really thick it's not thin stuff it's really thick so I've ordered um, I ordered a, a, um, another, but it's the actual 12 by 12 um, paper pack as well, because it's just so lovely. This glue gun's doing my head in. It's really hurting my hand. Look, I'm getting a red hand. <laughs> it just doesn't, I don't know what it is. I don't know whether I'm using the wrong glue sticks. I got, it said, seven on it and I got the right size and I got them from eBay but these ones just don't seem to uh... don't seem to like me and they really do you just love blue string so I can see myself having to get a newer one I might get, that's the fine point I wanted on the, so I'll have to see whether I can find another one that has a, one a bit bigger maybe that has, oh, a fine point on it. I'll be glad when this cold's gone and feel a bit better and I would like to say thank you as well to everybody who gave me all the uh, get well wishes as well on my last uh, that was lovely thank you right okay so that's there so what I'm going to do I'm going to fold these over glue them down because I'm not going to cut them off I just can't do it Because I'm silly. Oh, this glue gun is driving me nuts. Come on, work, work, work. Ouch.
we go. So. Just gonna uh, put these on. Actually, I don't know if I'll bother with that one because I'm gonna stick this one down. I think I might even put that one on there. I'm gonna stick this one down anyway, so it's so that's gonna be sort of like the lid there so there's not really any point me sticking one on there isn't it a good job we talk to ourselves while we're crafting otherwise we'd never figure these things out and we just uh, go ahead and I love this glue because you it doesn't soak in and make your paper warp. It you know paper still stays. I burnt myself yesterday big time on one of my fingers. I can't think which one. Yeah, this one at the side there. And uh, it's actually quite numb there now. <laughs> Where I did it. I don't know. I'm waiting for my kit to come with the, It's got the thumb of the finger protectors. Right, so that's that side. So now what I'm going to do, um, I want to cover this bit up here, work this patch here. Bye. I don't want to cover the paper up too much and I still want to be able to close it but um, what to do, what to do, what to do. Shall I do girls? Shall I put that on? No. I should have stuck it underneath those doilies, shouldn't I? No. I don't know, I'm gonna stick the doily on. What the heck? Even been able to go out and like check out the sales or anything. Right, I've been so jealous of all you guys. I've been getting all your crafty shopping fixes. I haven't been able to do it. I've still got Christmas money burning a hole in my purse. Never mind, I shall get there. I live. Oh. Sorry, I forgot to turn my iPad off, otherwise, uh, oh, I've got internet back again. I 
I love sitting in my bed and well, it's all quiet and I'm not doing anything, watching YouTube videos. <laughs> I love my iPad, I use it all the time. Although I can't um, use it for like downloading videos or anything like that onto uh, YouTube or editing them or anything like that. But you know, I use it all the time for lots of other things. You know, checking out, shopping, <laughs> and um, for Christmas we got my because uh, my little, well not my little, my nine-year-old was forever pinching my iPad. Um, so we got him a Kindle Fire HD for Christmas, which is um, so that's that's my iPad. And then that's this Kindle Fire, which is it's, it's a little bit smaller, um, but it's so cute. Yeah. It's really cute. Uh, so yeah, so we got him that for Christmas. Bless him. So hopefully, uh, he still pinches my laptop, but uh, hopefully I'll leave my iPad alone now. <laughs> okay, so that's going that way. Right, so like, like that. And before I uh, do that, I want to put some ribbon there so I can uh, you, uh, close it. So some, some ribbon. I'll use this. This one. Because I want to put something that it's going to uh, clip over. Close it. So I want about that length. Oh, sorry, just getting my scissors. or something there. This. Or something that it will uh, uh, <coughs> I'll have to have a look. I don't know what it will be but uh, Is it 25 past 9 on a 
I don't even know what day it is today. What day is it today? It's not New Year's Day, is it? Is it New Year's Day? Or was New Year's Day yesterday? New Year's Day was yesterday. Or is it New Year's Day? Do you know what? I don't even know what day it is today. If it's the first, then it's New Year's Day. Let me have a look. <gasps> yes, it's the first. See? I don't even know what day it is. I'm Looney Tune. Looney Tune. Right, okay. So, I'm going to put glue, normal glue, on this part here. And then just where the doily is, I'll put hot glue, because um, this, this normal glue is great for paper, but it's not going to... It's not going to stick the doily to the uh, to the paper. So I'll do that. Um, oh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. So I have to do it quickly. I think. I think I need another glue stick. Oh, this one. Right, let's see how that goes. Oh, I just dropped something on the floor. So there we go. Yeah, if I'd have if I'd have put more um, layers, this bit in here would have been deeper. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Not to worry. Right. Okay. So what I'm going to do now? I even use my iPad to help me go because I'm struggling to sleep at night. I use my iPad to listen to Harry Potter stories on my on it. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these to the back. So I would say three would just about do it. So I'm going to trim off. These ones are lovely, and I got those three from eBay. I got. These ones were sort of like a, they're cream, but then, I don't know, they're like a very, they're not yellow, but like a very, very pale. I wouldn't even say they were cream, though, but um, they're very nice. So I got those from uh, eBay. I don't want to cover up that. Uh, that's too much, the doily. So, I'm going to glue that. On there. So. Trouble is, this lace is like really, really thin, so I think I might even put something just to cover where I've put the hot glue. So it comes through, so it burns your fingers. See the glue comes through. I might put some pearl trim or something on there to just to right, so I'll just do this side. Ow! <gasps> oh bugger. Sorry. <laughs> just put my fingers. My poor fingers.
because the lace trims really really thin so it comes through Oh, the things we suffer for our craft girls. Hey. Right. Okay. I'm thinking now that maybe I shouldn't have put white lace on the inside. I should have uh, gone for like a beige colour. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's on there now and I'm not changing it. Okay. So what I'm going to put on next is I've got some of this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous trim. And I want to do it so that this sort of goes in between. Uh, So this still I hope you can see all right, but uh, maybe. On this trim, it's got like a, it's like it's cream, but it's got like a meta uh, I don't know, a glittery sort of um, look to it. It's really, really pretty. It's gorgeous. Oh, I'm gonna have to have some more glue. So I haven't got any here. Scissors now, what have I done with my scissors? Scissors, where are you? Oh, I'm in my lap. Right, so I don't know if you can see this trim, it's uh, and uh, on this really, it's glittery, I, you, I, you probably even can't even see it. And do you know what? I can't even remember where I got it from. How bad is that? Right, so I put that on there, and I'm going to do the same for the back as well. Oh, right, just bear with me, I'm going to pause this while I go and get another glue stick, be back in a minute. Um, it might even be a part two, 